is very upsetting to hear that headline or see that headline spreading around Donald Trump saying that Jerusalem belongs to Israel. And seeing those videos circulate of those Christian Palestinians burning posters with Donald Trump's grill on it, I don't know if these statements are carried out with an executive action or plans to carry out an executive action, but it's very upsetting to hear the advancement of more Zionism, especially from a candidate who I felt was going to prioritize his own home over Zionistic affairs. I, I knew since his response to the Iran deal two years ago, the only executive action carried out by Don, uh, Barack Obama that I actually liked, I knew since seeing him, you know, voices, criticism that he was going to be a bit of a cuckold on this, but not this much. This is just too much. And for those who don't know, it's only a matter of time until these circumstances escalate. Israel has the United States wrapped around its finger. Its big three enemies are Hezbollah, Syria, and Assad's regime. And I say regime neutrally. And, of course, Iran. And Iran, like, I've had multiple conversations with evangelical Christians and boomers and older Gen Xers who constantly tell me, oh, Iran can't be trusted. Everything that people say in these publications about Iran, especially these Jewish publications about Iran, come across as heavy psychological projection to everything that Israel has ever done and the characteristics of Israel's political leaders and its ethos. And it's very upsetting to hear because the other good boy superpower, Russia, they've been trying, they've been on the right side in terms of foreign policy. They're Zionistic as shit, but they're foreign policy in terms of who they side with in these Middle Eastern countries. Who they want to maintain autonomy has always been on point. The right on Assad, the right on Iran. But if we continue to conquer Israel's enemies, we're eventually going to beef with Russia, and it's going to be a battle of two of the greatest goys, and it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be whack. I mean, and on the topic of the other superpower, China, they're looking at all of this right now. It's prime ministers, it's leaders, thinking, how can we cuck the United States as hard as Israel has cucked it? Because these are also Mercurians, to borrow from Zaleski's terminology. China also has the Mercurian character, and that's why there's a similarity to how Chinese behave when they arrive here, to how Jews behave when they're here in Western territories as their host country. Only thing is, China's been marginally better. But trust me, they're looking at this and they're thinking, how can we finesse the United States? Because there's a lot to finesse with the United States. We've got a lot of power, a lot of resources, a lot of passion to be heard on. So, just all these things that echo in my head when he talks about essentially evicting these people from their homes, zucking them. You know, when you get logged out of your account, all because of the posts you made in 2013, it's ridiculous. And now it's spreading into geopolitics and not just Facebook. That's another thing I gotta talk about net neutrality later. So this is should have been more of a ramble than anything else, but I've been seeing a lot of Trump 
cuckolds. And I'm using that word a lot in this video. Only in this video. If I ever use that word excessively in any other video from here on out, you have permission to smack the shit out of me when you see me. But a lot of Trump supporters who don't have an alt-right background are more um, Kakistani. They've been voicing this opinion that, okay, these people who are upset these Palestinians, they're just... They're just terrorists. They don't know. Like, the mainstream left and the mainstream right. This is their view of the world map. It's the Western world, Japan, Korea, China, and the rest is just hordes of amorphous browns and blacks. They don't really see the shades of gray and understand that no, that's not the case. These aren't like Sunnis or you know, extremists fundamentalists. These are just people who do not want to lose their homes. And right now, you've lost your homes. They no longer belong to you, people of the West. They're being rented out to you. So while you're chilling in the real property, all that you have is more elusive, more of an illusion than it's ever been. So seeing these kinds of comments, these are like, usually when you see posts of like minorities upset by Trump, or groups of non-whites upset by Trump, it's not valid or criticism half the time. This time, it's valid. When you make a statement like this, you are putting a fear into their heart that it shouldn't be. And when it comes to the Israel and Palestinian conflict, if it's between the lesser of two faults, I'm going to pick Palestine, but in my ideal future plans, or not not plans, but like fantasy football, fantasy geopolitics, it would belong to Hezbollah. But that's all I got to say on the matter. This kind of stuff, I don't really like hearing about it, but my opinion, current events move way too slowly and people get too ramped up on dumb shit like football players kneeling and not this geopolitical stuff that actually matters. It's been your boy Mr. Marcus 7 and suck my dick.